We've all grown up on either Disney movies, the Disney Channel, or both. And I think for the majority of us, it's definitely both. So the stars of these TV series and movies became like friends to us, and we've also had the pleasure of watching them grow, like Selena Gomez in Wizards of Waverly Place, to seeing her music blossom, to Miley Cyrus as Hannah Montana, and then the Miley Cyrus musician that has changed like a chameleon over the years, Cole Sprouse as a child actor, to being in Riverdale, and of course Demi Lovato through her trials, tribulations, and triumphs. I have 12 more Disney stars before and after. Keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Azalea Hart. Which Disney star do you sometimes just sit back and say, hey, I wonder what they're up to now? Comment down below and let me know. Maybe they're on this list and you're about to find out exactly what they've been up to lately. First, I gotta apologize because my microphone is broken, so you're gonna be hearing a little bit of background noise, but I promise this video is worth it. If it's your first time here, please subscribe and turn on your bell notifications so you never miss when I upload a new video. You can also follow me on Instagram at Azalea Zoe. Let's get into it, starting with one of the most successful Disney stars, the gorgeous Zendaya. Now, you would know Zendaya as her character Rocky Blue and Shake It Up from 2010 to 2013, but she also starred in the 2012 Disney Channel original movie, Frenemies. In 2014, she starred as Zoe Stevens in Zapped, and of course, Casey Cooper in Casey Undercover from 2015 to 2018. Between gracing the covers of coveted magazines like Vogue, GQ, Allure, Elle, and Hollywood Reporter, just to name a few, and acting her butt off, Zendaya is killing it out here. She recently was awarded the honor of being nominated for an Emmy for her hit HBO show, Euphoria. Production on the second season was forced to shut down on March 16th, but the girl still wanted to work. So she recently just finished shooting a secret new film titled Malcolm and Marie that she teased on her Instagram with this steamy photo. It was filmed in its entirety during the COVID-19 shutdown and written by the creator, Euphoria, who had a draft ready six days after that phone call. It's worth it to note that the entire film was shot June 17th to July 2nd at an environmentally conscious state-of-the-art house in California. Now, did you have a phase where you wore so much cheetah print and thought you were part of the Cheetah Girls? I mean, guilty! Adrienne Ballin was one of the Cheetah Girls, but you may recognize her now as one of the co-hosts on the daytime talk show, The Real. She also has a popular YouTube channel called All Things Adrienne with a million subscribers. It's her sharing everything about her life from makeup to fashion, home decor, entertaining tips, crazy family stories, and so much more where she posts weekly. Shia LaBeouf was the little brother that none of us wanted, and even Stevens. After a major acting hiatus, he will be back on our big screens in a movie titled The Tax Collector, which I, for one, am looking forward to seeing. Now, the movie does have a lot of controversy swirling around it right now, calling Shia's character racist and accusing the movie's director, David Ayer, of brown facing for even casting Shia in the role to play a Hispanic man. Fun fact though, Shia got his entire chest tattooed for the movie. Like, I'm talking a real tattoo. Talk about being devoted to a role. Woo. Hilary Duff, possibly the most normal of all of the OG Disney girls. She, of course, was the star of Lizzie McGuire. Production had started early 2020, but just like everything else in the world, it was put on hold due to COVID. She told Cosmo that they went back to the drawing board of Disney Plus, Disney and herself, to come up with something that would work for them all. But they're still in the middle of that process, but they are talking weekly to get production up and running as soon as it's safe to do so. So, it's still a work in progress. Now, we were first introduced to Sky Jackson as Zuri Roth in the Disney Channel sitcom, Jessie. Most recently, the star had a very public feud with the Catch Me Outside girl, Danielle Brigoli. Sky even got a restraining order against her. It all started when Sky commented on a photo of Danielle's ex-boyfriend, NBA young boy, saying, can somebody hook me up with YB? Just so fine to me. Lord. And Danielle responded on her Instagram story calling Sky a Disney thought. Their moms even got involved and Danielle threatened to kill Sky on an IG Live. Sky Jackson never publicly responded to any of Danielle's posts, but she did post a tweet referencing all her current wins, which is the classic thing to do. So here's what she's up to now. New book, finalizing a makeup deal, TED Talk speech, recording a Netflix animated series, vlogging for her YouTube channel, and hosting We Day which is also under fire currently, so she probably won't be promoting that anymore. And she ended her tweet with, no time for negatives. Emily Osment played Lily on Hannah Montana. Recently, she shared a post on Instagram with one of her favorite photos from the show. It's just a simple photo of Miley and Emily in casual clothing, standing on in the empty set, looking at each other bashfully. She put in her caption, I have no idea who took it or why the great room set is empty on a tape night, but I have a physical copy of it from a disposable camera and now it's on the internet. 
She continued on saying, I spent a couple hundred Friday nights here instead of all the places a normal teenager should have been, and it made me an adult faster than I could prepare myself for. However, I am grateful to have been handed a sense of accountability and purpose at such a young age because I still have it, and then some. In 2018, Emily tweeted out that it breaks her heart to tell her fans that in addition to Freeform not giving their young and hungry audience the ending their show deserved, they also decided to not go forward with a full-length film. The show premiered in 2014 and lasted five seasons before it was cancelled, and their season finale ended up becoming the series finale. Since then, Emily has been starring in a show called Almost Family alongside Brittany Snow, but that was also cancelled two weeks after the season one finale. Vanessa Hudgens was everyone's high school sweetheart because of High School Musical. Most recently, Vanessa was under fire when she went on an Instagram live and made some insensitive comments about quarantine. The next day, she went on Instagram again to say that people are taking her words out of context. But things kept getting worse, so she released a longer statement on Twitter apologizing for her insensitive words and agreeing that they were not appropriate at all. Did you see this video? What were your thoughts? Comment down below. Zac Efron, of course, also known from High School Musical, has recently released an awesome documentary on Netflix called Down to Earth, where he travels around the world with wellness expert Darian Oli to find healthy, sustainable ways to live. Twin sisters Tia and Tamara Mori start in Sister's Sister, Twitches and Twitches 2 and 17 again. Now you can catch them both still acting in Hallmark Christmas movies like The Mistletones and Gingerbread Romance for Tia or A Christmas Miracle for Tamara. Tamara also, like another Disney star on our list, was the co-host of the daytime talk show The Real, but she recently left after seven years. Alright guys, so we are at our final three Disney movie stars. Which one is your favorite? Comment down below. Remember to subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Instagram. Right there. Let's keep going. Dove Cameron was one of the breakout stars from Disney's Descendants and Disney's Live and Maddie, which she won a Daytime Emmy Award for. She also starred in the off-Broadway publication of Clueless. Moving on to a more grown vibe and shedding her Disney skin, Dove is focusing more on her music. She shared in an interview that it's a strange combination to be from the Disney Channel, but to not have your sound be shaped by the Disney Channel. All the music I did with Disney, which was a lot, wasn't through a character, it was never mine. Dove's hit single, We Belong Together, is also the main song for a new movie, After We Collided, which stars another Disney star, Dylan Sprouse. Raven Simone started acting when she was just a tiny tot. Since then, she's been in Cheetah Girls, The Princess Diaries 2, and College Road Trip. And of course, That's a Raven as a teen, and then the reboot as an adult. Most recently, she's been in the news because one, she's down to join the cast of The Real, where as I mentioned before, Tamara Mori has just left, and two, because she recently got married. Congrats, Raven. Kiki Palmer recently shared a cute video on Twitter of her and Cole Sprouse dancing to Rihanna. She captioned it, the clip, the song, us, I can't. Kiki's Disney debut was in the movie Jump In as Mary Thomas along with Corbin Blue. She also sang two songs for the movie called It's My Turn Now and Jump. Where can you catch Kiki now? Well, she was on Good Morning America before her show got canceled, mainly because it doesn't go with what's going on in the world today. And she also recently starred in the hit woman porn movie, Hustlers with JLo. So that's it for this list of 12 Disney stars before and after. Which ones have you been keeping up with from the beginning? Tell me down in the comment section. Check out some more videos while you're here. And if you have an idea for a video that you want to see me do, comment that too. I'll see you next time.